this is Jules. Um, I'm going to show you guys today what I use for um, doing the uh, clerical paint technique. There is the distressing by Tim Holtz that's available. Um, although I don't have every color, um, I have just a couple of them that I use and I'll get some every now and again. But um, what I like to use is um, my regular acrylic uh, paint and some crackle medium uh, that I buy. Now you can find um, any of these paints, which is like Apple Barrel, Folk Art. There's a few other ones that I have that I'm not going to pull out just because it's the same. It's the same. It's acrylic paint. I tend to go with what's cheaper at the time. Um, like for instance, with the Apple Barrel, I normally get them when they're on sale for like two for a dollar maybe. And I try and stock up on my, you know, my, my basic colors and stuff. Um, this is a two ounce bottle. Um, and uh, Joanne's recently I found uh, this 8 ounce bottle that it was on clearance for 50 cents. Um, I found a pink one and an orange one and I don't use those colors too much but because it was 50 cents I grabbed them. Um, and then I just kind of put away until I'm ready to use um, them. And then um, I buy the Crackle Medium. Um, this is for acrylic paint. So you want to make sure you read everything before you buy it, just in case you are not totally sure on what it is. But um, I've always been buying the Crackle Medium um, when I want to do the Crackle Paint technique. So I'm just going to use a piece of chipboard right now. And then um, normally the instructions for the Crackle Medium is you apply your base coat and then you, you let it dry and then you apply your medium, your Crackle Medium, and then you put your top coat on. So we're just going to do those steps just so that you can see um, how it works and kind of how to do it. Because a long time ago, I didn't really know how to use it. Even though I was kind of reading through it, I was kind of scared to even try it. But, you know, you got to, you know, pinch your nose and jump in the water so just to see how it works. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is for my base coat, I'm going to do the um, country tan. I really love this color. It's one of my favorite right. colors. So I'll be right back. I'm going to paint it and then uh, let it dry and then we'll do the, the crackle and then go on. Okay. Alright, I've applied my paint and it's already dry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just... I always use my mat, my crafting mat, um, for my paint. Almost always. So, what you want to do is, um, when I painted this, I went in, the, in this direction. Um, from left to right, I didn't do up and down. Um, so you want to make sure that you stay consistent with that direction, with the base coat, the medium, and the top coat. So I'm just going to saturate my brush. And then make sure you have a uh, even coat as possible. And um, you want to make sure that it dries all the way before you apply your um, top coat, okay? It's nice and shiny. Oh, we've got to change our batteries. All right, just in time. All right, so when it dries, you guys will see how different it looks. And then um, we'll do the top coat. And then um, you can watch it dry a little bit. And then I'll show you the final. So, and you know, you can use this for chipboard, you can use this for uh, your wood projects, acrylic paint works on um, almost any surface, and I can't remember if, if this tells you, let's see, I've never used it for anything else, really, because I always alter, oh yeah, you can use it for like ceramic stuff, like um, uh, clay figurines and stuff, so that, yeah, you can do that. All right, so we're going to let this dry. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, the crackle medium is dry now. Let's see how it's not as shiny. I'm going to go ahead and use the warm white um, as my base. I mean, my top, sorry. That should be enough. 
Okay. Now, again, remember, um, you have to go in the same direction as your brush strokes, or it'll be a weird crackle effect look. <laughs> Alright, try to stay even as possible. It, it can be tricky at first, but once you do your first stroke really quick, be done with it, don't touch it again. Come on, Julie. I am so tired. Okay. It's starting to crackle. Do you guys see that happening? And some areas is going to be thicker than others. Um, and if it is, oh well. You get used to the idea. You get used to um, how you're layering your colors and um, or your paint. And um, there are some areas that are thicker than others, like down here. But you can see that it's crackling. The crackle is going on here. See how fast that was? That was like so freaking fast. <laughs> but I love this effect. It's so cool. Look at that. It almost looks like stone, like marbleish. Really, really, really love this effect. What I was talking about in the beginning there, though, um, is once you get, like, your first stroke, um, you want to try and get it, just keep it even and light, not super thin, but you want to keep it where it's going to be um, covering your color, your, uh, the bottom coat, the base coat, um, and then move to the next row um, for the paint. So you want to just keep it even, like, do the stroke, get it full coverage, do another, then do your next line, and don't go over where you're already painted because it will pull it apart um, as if it's wiping it off. So once it's on, once the acrylic paint touches the medium, um, it starts to activate right then and there, and it starts to do the crackle. And it was already crackling by the time I got to the last row there. Um, the crackling was going on already. And it actually started to crackle as I was at the end of this row. And then starting up here, it, it was already starting to crackle there. So it's super fast. And what I would suggest to you guys, if you've never used the medium, the crackle medium, um, get a few pieces of just regular cardboard, like a recycled shoe, like recycle a shoe box, um, and use the brown side of it and just practice on that. Um, you may, you know, waste your paint a little bit, but just practice it a little, a few times, and you'll get the hang of it and how it looks and how it feels and stuff, so. Okay, so there you go. And, I mean, don't be like me. Don't be afraid of trying new things. Um, I can tell you that it's been a, a long time since I used the Crackle Medium. Um, I think uh, it was probably about a, a year or two um, and then I used it when Lisa was here, and I was trying to help her with her uh, altering her box. Um, she has that video on her uh, on her on her channel, and um, yeah, we used it there. And I the last time that I had used it since then was like a year or two ago. I can't remember what I used it on. Um, and then I didn't even have um, the bottle. I had to go get another one um, for to do Lisa's box. So this is that this is the same bottle from there. But I've used it before. It's just been a long time. You see how the effect is going? It's so pretty. So you just want to um, make sure that you practice and um, just don't be scared. Now you know what crackle medium is. Um, it's the actual medium or the ingredient or the, the substance uh, to cause the crackle um, for acrylic paints. And um, yeah, get your paints too on sale, you guys. I mean, you can totally find it on clearance. I just saved myself like three bucks getting this in from Joanne's. I got it for 50 cents. And it was like, what, 360 or whatever price it was. I don't remember what price it was. So there you go. There's the um, effect of the crackle. And um, I can totally use this for, some <laughs> for something, so I'm not going to toss it. But I did want to make, make the video so you guys can see um, 
and know what you can use to do your crackle finishes. So just make sure you do a contrasting color, either a very light color underneath and then a, a dark color on top or a uh, dark color underneath and then a light color on top. So I really, really like this effect just because it has that more vintage look, it being like white paint and through the years it's just gotten cracked by the, the weather and the seasons and stuff. So it's just been like about two, two and a half minutes or so as we've watched it dry and it's, it's beautiful. I like it. I really do. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know, okay? And I will be happy to help you and um, answer your questions. You guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Joe signing out.